it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and pass the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, you support a Python application running in production on Compute Engine. You want to debug some of the application code by inspecting the value of a specific variable. What should you do? The requirement is fairly simple. We've got a Python application in production on Compute Engine. You want to debug the application code by looking at a specific variable. So remember that the application is currently in production. It is running there. And it is while it is in production that we want to investigate the value of one specific variable. Whatever solution we choose, it has to integrate well with Google Cloud. Either it's built in or it should be pluginable in such a way that it supports both Python and it can be running on an independent VM in Compute Engine. So with that requirement analysis behind us, let us look at each of the options. Option A suggests create a stack driver debugger log point with the variable at a specific line location in your application source code and view the value in the logs view. Now this is very much possible. You can go look at the code and uh, in the UI, select the line which at which you want to add a log point and say at this point log out this variable. One downside for this of course is that the logs then come in the logs viewer which is not within Stackdriver operations and then you're going to go look at the data there which is not too much of a journey but then it is just not inbuilt into Stackdriver uh, or the new operations UI. One good thing is that it also runs for 24 hours so that we can see the value of this variable across multiple calls. It is not a requirement in this case, but if there was some other competing option, let's see if this will be favorable or unfavorable for us. As of now, I think option A is quite good and it works for us. When the code is running in production, we are able to log out the value of this variable and therefore it's a very good option and we are going to keep that. Option B suggests use a local development environment and code editor to set up a breakpoint of the source code. Then run the application locally and inspect the value of the variable. Now this is definitely not what we want. We are not trying to replicate that application running in a local development environment. We want to see the value of the variable at runtime in production. So we just cannot choose this option, right? It, it, using a local dev environment defeats the purpose of trying to find out the value in production at runtime. So option B is out. Option C suggests modify the source code of the application to log the value of the variable, deploy to the development environment, and then run the application to capture the value in stack driver logging. Now this is again something that we don't want to do right now. If it was just to log the value, option A where we use log point is automatically much better. There's no reason to stop this running production app, bring it down, modify it, and then deploy it again. It just requires too much work. Moreover, this says to deploy to the development environment. Again, the values are just not going to be the same, right? So even if we took the option of taking to production, that wouldn't be useful for us because of the extra work and deploying to a development environment, definitely not useful. So option C is also going to be eliminated because as we discussed, it's not the same values and we uh, are again trying to do it in a development environment, which is not useful. Option D suggests you create a stack driver debugger snapshot at a specific line location in your application source code and view the value of the variable in the Google Cloud Platform Console. Now this is also very much possible. It is possible to set a breakpoint in your code 
um, at which point a snapshot of the variables that you specify will be taken and available to you in the UI itself. So this is very similar to what you would have in the log, uh, in the log points option, except that now the values can be vis visible right there in the um, stack driver UI. One thing to know is that a snapshot is only taken once. Of course, you can have, you know, another snapshot taken if you choose to, but by default, it is only one. And as required, the debug info value will be shown for that variable. Does this option uh, exist for both Python and the VM? The answer is yes. So in certain cases, you might see that certain languages may not support it or a certain environments, like in this case, .NET Core might not support it yet. But for us, this is completely fine, right? Because it's both Python and a computer engine VM. Given that we have option D also as being very suitable. Comparing the two things that we have kept aside, we've got option A to use the debugger log point and option D to use a debugger snapshot. And the difference between these for this particular requirement is very, very narrow, according to me. Now, what is the difference? The log point allows multiple values, while the snapshot allows one by default, but we can take more. In this requirement, there is no specification that we need to collect multiple values. We just need to collect one. So a snapshot should do. The snapshot info is also immediately available in the UI. We don't have to go somewhere else and then filter the logs to see what was the value logged. So the snapshot approach in this particular case would be a wee bit easier. Considering those two, very minor, but considering those two, since we have to choose only one, I'm going to go with option D as the best option for solving this requirement. Well, how are you going to inform others of this super GCP content? Just one way, like it, share it, let them get to know of it, and you, you subscribe.